Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb. And I'm here in Singapore at a workshop at Victoria Junior College. I got that right. I'm looking at the IT coordinator and he's, he's nodding his head. Um, I'm with a group of about 20 Singapore teachers here. Just to prove it, with yeah, heart in hand, I'm going to ask them to make some noise to prove it. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was, that was much better than before. Right. And uh, they've been practicing. It took us 30 minutes to get to that. Um, so we're going to look at how to export uh, individual slides from PowerPoint because once you've done that, and I'm suspecting you're a teacher if you're watching this, once you've, and, and your students, and you've got hundreds of PowerPoints over the past few years, it's a shame to waste them, but if you export the individual slides as JPEGs, then it means you can put them into all sorts of Web 2.0 tools. And let's show you how easy that is. Let's move this splash page out of the way. And uh, let me bring in PowerPoint. And this is going to be so simple. Here's PowerPoint. I've already um, uh, loaded a PowerPoint up. This PowerPoint is about uh, uh, mobile learning on an iPod Touch. And I want to export all these slides as individual JPEGs. And so the thing is, too, all you do is you go up to File. Now, if you have a different version of uh, PowerPoint, it might be slightly different. But you're going to groan if you don't know this once you see how simple it is. I'm going to click on Save As. And down here, <laughs> you can't say that Microsoft doesn't give us a lot of options. Down here, there is the option that says Save It As JPEGs. Now, it doesn't say s which slide to save. But if you're patient, if I click on that, it will uh, ask me where to put them. So I'm going to put them or where it's automatically come up with it. I have a folder called Singapore Workshops on this machine. So it's going to put the slides here. And it says file name there. So it looks like it just wants to save the slide number one. Click on Save. But then it comes up with this, which was a bit unnerving if it hadn't. It says save every slide or save the current slide only. So let's save every slide. So I click on there. And the Microsoft wheels grind. That was quick. It said, each slide in your presentation has been saved as a separate file in the folder. And it's reminded me where it is because it thinks I'm an idiot and can't remember. Say OK. So let's check because that's, that's the end of the tutorial. Let's check the uh, folder. Oh, what did I do with the folder? Let's, here it is down here. Let's open up the folder. Oh, it's open somewhere else, isn't it? I've lost it on my screen. Where did it go? Is this it? No, we've lost it. Is this it? Here we go. <laughs> I w before we started the screencast, I was saying one we, we were discussing here that it's great to storyboard screencasts before you do them and make sure you know where everything is on the screen. So this has appeared, which wasn't there before. This folder has been created, and if I open it, here are the individual slides from that PowerPoint presentation, the JPEGs. So I can now take those and put them into lots of other Web 2.0 tools. I can put them into Prezi, I, uh, all sorts of different tools. So all of a sudden, that time, now the opportunity is all that time you spent creating, your students have spent creating PowerPoints, can be now used in a new environment. And that's it. I hope you find that useful. And just to make sure that you realize that the Singapore teachers here didn't actually fall asleep, I'm just going to make sure, check that they're still awake. Yes. Yeah, not, not so much, though. Thank, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>